Nandu's bean plant. Good morning, Meenu. What are you doing? I am watering this plant, Paz. Look how beautiful it looks. But Meenu, why is the plant holding onto this stick? Who put the stick here? Paz, I put the stick here. This plant is a climber. It needs something to hold on to so that it can grow. Is it like the walking stick Babulal uncle holds for walking? Paz, you are very funny. Yes, it is something similar. This stick will support the plant when it grows. All climbers need support. They hold on to some tree. Bigger plant, stick, or something like that. Oh, so they are not strong plants. Who told you that? Just that they have delicate branches. They also grow strong when they have a support. Just like Nandu's beanstalk. Even a giant could climb on that. Nandu's beanstalk. What is that? It is a story, Buzz. It is a story of a little boy named Nandu and his beanstalk. Story? I don't know the story. Chinu, will you tell me the story? Okay, I will. Only if you promise to get me some honey. I feel like having some honey. That is no problem. You tell me the story. I will go like a plane and get you honey. Once upon a time, there was a little boy. His name was Nandu. He lived with his mother. They were very, very poor. His father was a farmer. He was dead. Nandu and his mother did not have any money. One day, they did not have anything to eat. They only had their cow left. So Nandu's mother asked him to sell the cow in the market and get some money. Nandu took the cow and was going to the market. On the way, a kind fairy met him. She knew that Nandu and his mother were very poor. She told Nandu that she would buy the cow and gave him four bean seeds in return. Four bean seeds in return for a cow? His mother must have been very upset. That's right, Buzz. But Nandu was a very kind boy. He just took the four bean seeds and came home. When he gave them to his mother, she was very upset. She got so angry that she threw the four bean seeds out of the window. Nandu was very sad and they both slept without eating anything. Next day morning, when Nandu woke up, he saw some new leaves and a plant outside his window. He ran out and saw that a big bean plant had grown there where his mother had thrown the seeds. It was a climber and had taken support from a tree near Nandu's house. Nandu climbed up the beanstalk to see what was there. How can he climb up the beanstalk? Isn't a stalk weak? No buzz, it had taken support. When Nandu went up, he saw a big giant sleeping on a bed. He got very scared. He was about to run down when a kind lady stopped him. She was the giant's wife and she said that she wanted to help Nandu as the giant 
had killed and eaten his father. She gave Nandu a beautiful hen and said that the hen would only lay golden eggs. She said he could sell the golden eggs and earn money. Nandu was very happy and thanked the giant's wife. He ran down the beanstalk before the giant could wake up. Nandu gave the beautiful hen to his mother and told her about his visit to the giant's house on top of the beanstalk. Nandu's mother was very happy and hugged Nandu. She knew that was a nice story. The giant's wife was a kind lady. But how did the giant climb up the beanstalk? He was so big. Didn't the beanstalk break? Buzz, the beanstalk had support. It was holding on to the tree near Nandu's house. But is the tree strong? Very strong, Buzz. I will show you how. Let me try and pull out this grass. Friends, why don't you also try to do the same? Okay. Let me also try. Hmm. I cannot pull the grass from the root. Meenu, see it broke off at the top itself. Root? What is root? A root is what holds any plant or tree firmly to the soil. It grows under the soil and helps plants and trees to hold on to the ground. Oh, then roots must be very strong. Roots are very, very strong, Buzz. See, I can't even pull out a small grass plant. Look, I pulled out this grass plant from the root. Just look how long its roots are. Oh my God, very, very long roots. They are longer than the grass that is above the ground. They must have gone deep into the soil. What do they do there, Minu? They absorb water for the plants and trees. All plants and trees need water to grow. Don't they get it when you water the plants? But does Minu water all the plants? There are so many trees and plants in our village. Have you seen anyone watering them? But it also rains. Plants and trees get water when it rains. That's right, they do. But it does not rain all the time. It only rains for a few months in a year. And plants need water all the time to grow. So, the roots help absorb water from the soil and give it to the plants. Oh, so it really helps the plants. I cannot live without water. I can fly and get water to drink. But plants can't fly anywhere. So, roots have to get water for them. That's right, Buzz. Roots absorb water from the ground for plants. And they also hold them firmly to the ground. Minu, Chinu, can you pull out some carrots from the garden for me? I will cook it for you. You will soon be hungry. Okay, Grandma. We will pull out some carrots. Buzz, come. Let's pull out carrots for Grandma. Okay. I will try to pull the carrots. <laughs> you will pull out carrots? Buzz, you must be joking. Even I can't pull them out easily. It is very tough to pull them out. Look, I have pulled out a carrot. I had to really dig it out. Look at my hands. They have gone red. I needed lots of strength to pull it out. 
Buzz, can you see this? Meenu, what are these? These are root hairs. Root hairs? So, is carrot a root? That's right, Buzz. Carrot is the root of that plant. Do you eat the root? Yes, we eat roots of plants. We eat other roots also, like radish and beetroot. I did not know that we eat roots of plants. I only knew about normal vegetables. We eat different parts of a plant. Like cabbage is the leaf of that plant. Cauliflower and banana flower are the flowers of those plants. Oh, so you eat different parts of a plant. And carrot, radish, beetroot are the roots that you eat. I like carrot and beetroot, but I don't like radish. I like radish when it is sweet. Okay, come. Let's go to the garden and play. Hey, that will be fun. Let's go to the garden. Oh, Chinu, look at that mango tree. It has fallen down. You said that roots are strong. A tree does not fall easily. Buzz, the mango tree has not fallen down. Some branches have fallen down. Remember, there was a strong wind three days back. It must have broken then and fallen down. Oh, that's sad. But look at these leaves. Why do they look different from those on the tree? Buzz, they have gone dry. They were cut off from the main tree. They don't have roots to absorb water for them. But just look at the tree. It was such a strong wind and still it did not fall. Such a big tree, Minu. It must have very, very strong roots. That's right, Buzz. Look, we have come to the garden. I want to swing on the banyan tree. Minu, what are these? Are you swinging in the branches of the banyan tree? Oh, Buzz, you don't know anything. These are not branches. These are roots. Chinu, you don't know anything. How can roots be outside like this? These are branches. Buzz, Chinu is right. These are roots. Banyan tree is a special tree. These roots keep growing from the branches till the time they reach the ground. Then, they are like pillars to the banyan tree. They support the tree very well. So, banyan tree does not have roots under the soil? It only has roots outside like this? The banyan tree has roots under the soil also like other trees. It has these roots outside hanging from the branches. That's why it is a special tree. Look, Sahil has come. Hello, Sahil. Let's all play something together. Sahil, why did you come so late? Hello, Chinu. I couldn't come early because the road was blocked. A big neem tree had fallen down. A neem tree had fallen down? No, Sahil. It must be the branches. I just got to know that roots are very strong and hold the trees to the ground. You are right, Bas. Roots are very strong and hold the trees firmly. But sometimes, when strong winds blow, some trees fall. They could be very old trees. Oh, that's sad. A full tree has fallen down. It could have been a sick tree too. Maybe. It could have been a sick tree also. Do you know something? My grandma said that there is a special tree 
called the desert oak tree in Australia. Australia, where is Australia? How will I show you Australia, Buzz? We don't have a world map here. Meenu, wait. Look at that uncle selling maps there. We can go there and show Buzz Australia on the world map. That's a good idea, Sahil. Uncle, can we see the world map for a minute? Buzz, look. This is Australia. And where is our country, India? Look, this is India and this is Australia. It is very far away. Thank you, Uncle. Sahil, now tell us what is so special about this desert oak tree? That tree grows as tall as a small building. But do you know what is special about its roots? Imagine 30 such trees are kept one on top of another. The roots grow that long under the soil. They absorb water for that tree from under the soil from far away and store it in the trunk of the tree. This tree grows in the desert. So, when there is no water, people put a pipe in its trunk and drink water. Oh, what an interesting tree, Sahil. Trees help us so much, but people keep cutting them. I feel very sad for the trees. But Meenu, my papa said, these days no one can cut trees. If anyone cuts a tree, they can be punished. You need special permission to cut trees. So, if we see anyone cutting a tree, we should go and tell our elders about it. I will also tell you, if I see anyone cutting a tree. Meenu, I also want to see a plant grow. I want to see a root also. Okay, it is simple. Come, let's go home. I will show you how. Let's run quickly. We will reach home fast and I can see the plant grow. Buzz, it's not like fast magic. It takes time to grow. I will show you how. Friends, you can also do it with us. You just need a few things. You need a transparent glass or a bottle with a wide mouth. You need some cotton, a thread or a rubber band and some seeds. The seeds can be anything like mustard, chickpeas, red peas, etc. First soak 5 to 6 seeds overnight in a bowl of water. We have all the things now. Now, just watch me do it. Wet the cotton and put it on the mouth of the glass like this. Now, let me tie it with this rubber band. Now, I will put the seeds on top of the cotton. Meenu, when will the roots grow? How long will they grow? When will the plant grow? Where will it grow? I can't see any roots growing. Oh, oh, Buzz! Stop asking so many questions. The root and plant don't start growing so fast. It will take 10 to 12 days for it to grow. Now tell me, where do you think the root will grow from and where will the plant grow from? I know this, Chinu. I am smart. The root will grow under the cotton. It will grow inside the glass. The plant and leaves will grow outside. Yes, we have to keep this cotton moist all the time. And we should also keep this glass near a window or outside in the open 
so that the seeds get enough sunlight and air to grow. I know why. The seeds need air, water and sunlight to grow. Meenu, I will pour water every day. I will keep the cotton wet. Friends, do this and you can also see the plant and roots grow. Friends, will you help bird match the following? Bean plant Climber Sugarcane Stem Radish Root Cabbage Leaf Cauliflower Flower Sweet Potato Root Bean plant Climber Sugarcane Stem Radish Root Cabbage Leaf Cauliflower Flower Sweet potato Root Shall we fill in the blanks now? Need support to grow Climbers need support to grow. Hold the plant firmly 
to the ground. Roots hold the plant firmly to the ground. Tree has roots growing from its branches also. Banyan tree has roots growing from its branches also. Plants need and to grow. Plants need air, water and sunlight to grow. Suck water from below the ground for the plants. Roots suck water from below the ground for the plants. Climbers need support to grow. Roots hold the plant firmly to the ground. Banyan tree has roots growing from its branches also. Plants need air, water and sunlight to grow. Roots suck water from below the ground for the plants. Friends, it's question time. Will you write the answers in your notebook? Do all plants have roots? Yes, all plants have roots. What do plants need to grow? Plants need air, water and sunlight to grow. How does the root help the plant?
the root holds the plant firmly to the ground it also absorbs water and minerals from the soil for the plant to grow what are climbers Climbers are plants that cannot stand on their own. They need the support of a tree or a stick. Example: grape, bean. We eat different parts of a plant. Can you name the parts we eat? We eat the stem root leaves seeds flower and fruit of a plant why is the banyan tree special The banyan tree is special because it has roots growing down from its branches. It also has roots that grow under the ground like other trees. Why do big and strong trees fall down sometimes? Big and strong trees fall down sometimes due to strong winds, floods, or when the tree is sick or very old. Shall we help butterfly choose the correct answer? All climbers need Support to grow, grow on their own. I don't know. Support to grow. roots have no use at all hold the plant firmly to the ground none of the above the plant firmly to the ground grass has no root long strong roots roots that hang from its branches
long strong roots all plants need music to grow support to grow air water and sunlight to grow air water and sunlight to grow we eat the leaves of the plant the roots of the plant the flowers of the plant leaves roots and flowers of the plant leaves roots and flowers of the plant the desert oak tree is found in America England Africa Australia Australia People who cut trees should be punished given a prize ignored punished All climbers need support to grow roots hold the plant firmly to the ground grass has long strong roots All plants need air, water and sunlight to grow. We eat leaves, roots and flowers of the plant. The desert oak tree is found in Australia People who cut trees should be punished Friends shall we try to draw a climber now